All right, so how do you fix the rear view mirror when it falls from your windshield? You remember yesterday that my rear view mirror fell off. Here, here it is. And this thing, this thing's pretty cool, man. It's got reading lamps. And uh, I, I don't know what else is in there, but that's a pretty heavy duty uh, rear view mirror. And I think that's the problem. It's kind of heavy. So then it's hanging from that thing. So what you need to do is obviously disconnect this wire first carefully. And then I already, I should have filmed the first steps, but I'll walk you through it. Like I said, I don't make how-to videos. I just show you what I, like what I did here. So I, I'm going to call that the hockey puck, okay, or the puck. So that puck that was in here, and what you need to do is get that you need to get that puck out and you're going to need a Torx T20 that's what a Torx looks like you need one of these bad boys it's a the size is T20 that's what you need and then it fits right in there all right and you unscrew it and you unscrew it and then that puck comes out comes out of there and that will come out and then what i did what i used for it then you got to glue it it's glued to your windshield so what i use to glue it back onto the windshield is just jb weld uh jim downham who's a member of my of a group facebook group that i'm on i posted a, a picture of my mirror hanging down and he chimed in and he's had the same problem as, as I'm sure many of you have and he said just use JB quick or JB weld he used just regular old original JB weld the stuff that dries gray I didn't have that I had some JB quick weld here and uh, you want to use the JB quick apparently works and the original apparently works and i like using them because they have like a high viscosity they're thick so then what you do is on the other side of this you just put a little bit of that jb weld like a, a layer of it you don't want to go too crazy because then when you press this into the windshield you don't want a lot of it squishing out right and then just hold it there and then what i had did is i just taped it on just taped it on like that and that's what I did and already it's it's on there Jim said that a uh an off-road mutter guy gave him this tip he says that this thing's never going to fall off make sure that you put that in the correct direction in the right direction so you when you put on your mirror it's mounted on correctly because once that's on there you're not going to get it out it's permanent and and there it is. That's how that's how it's mounted back on. And then what you do is then you just take your T20 Torx. I'm sure maybe you could finagle another tool to make this work, but I'm fortunate I have these Torx. And you just got to do it finger tight. You don't need and that's it. And then reconnect the wire and you're back in business. So that's how you fix your that's how you fix your mirror. I'm sure I'm sure many other cars are like that. But yeah, I could feel it. That that JB weld, it ain't going nowhere. That's there, that's there to stay. That's permanent. And that's it. All hooked up, all said and done. Lights are working and everything, obviously. My door's open. But yeah, that's 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 not going nowhere. Good, thanks, Jim Downham, for chiming in and giving me that sweet tip with the JB Weld. Hopefully, it also helps out you guys who subscribe to my channel or stumble across this video because you have a B body. I'm gone.